Okay guys, it's cold and it's dark outside right now, but we gotta go get in. We're gonna do our tempo run. This is one of the last tempo runs. It's Tuesday before the marathon, October 15th, five days left. Well, this day's almost over nearly, so four days left just about, and we're gonna go get this tempo run done. And we're gonna talk about how I like to recover when I do. I have to get yelled at first before I start recovery, but what? You yell at me. You don't yell at me. You're always like, you need to stretch. And I'm like, I never stretch. You do need to stretch. Anyway, I'm going to go over how, when I do stretch, how I stretch, and how I roll. Let's go get it. Okay, guys. So here we are. And right now I am rolling the tibialis anterior. This is basically the outside of your shin. For me, sometimes I can get pretty tight when running a lot because I'm a midfoot and forefoot striker. So if I push off a lot, I don't know what it is, but that just, it gets really tight for me. So I like to make sure I like massage that with my thumb or a rolling stick, but it always feels really good to roll that out and just relieve the pressure, roll it up and then press it downwards. Uh, make sure you're doing that, the pressured roll in one direction and you're just rolling back and forth. This is a little massage stick I like to use that has the little spikes on it. So I'll do that to warm up my quads and my hamstrings. I like to get both the outsides, the insides, the lowers and the uppers. Uh, and really just kind of get in there and it just helps it warm up for me. And uh, it doesn't necessarily like relieve it right away, but it just gets it going for me. Now before going any further, I just want to make it clear that I'm not a medical professional or a doctor and I suggest that if you're looking for a real treatment or cure that you actually seek one if you need that. Here's where we get out the big foam roller. Now this is where I like to roll out my calves. Since I am plagued with uh, insertional Achilles tendonitis from time to time, this is crucial for me because if one part of your posterior chain is tight, it pulls on everything else which will definitely affect that. So like I said with the quadriceps, I like to get the outside and the inside with the calves. I like to get the center, the outside and the inside. And this will really help relieve and unwind any of the knots in your muscle when rolling them out. And like I said with the last one, make sure you're, the pressure roll is only going one way and then you're just rolling back up it to reposition yourself. As you can see, I'm wincing. It's because this actually felt really good. And by good, I meant it hurts so good. It's just, um, it's a tough one and it's hard to hold yourself up. I've yet to find a, a better and more conventional way of holding myself up while rolling my calves. This is an, an Achilles roll. I have yet to see anyone else do this on YouTube, but like I said, with the insertion Achilles tendonitis, I like to roll up the shaft of my Achilles and then down into where it inserts into my heel. This helps circulate the blood by, you know, bringing up the muscle tissue and lactic acid and really helping the blood flow get there. And that really aids in recovery. So make sure you do that. If you have any Achilles problems, like I said, I suggest this is really helps me from time to time. Uh, it does hurt. It will, you know, you'll feel pain and discomfort, but, uh, in the long run, I find it to be, um, uh, very helpful and therapeutic. So guys, basically that is my rolling routine for recovery. As far as massage sticks and massage sticks, massage sticks and foam rollers go. Foam rollers. That is what I do uh, for my legs after I'm done running. Now I'm not gonna go through my entire routine as far as stretches go. I'm gonna put that in a separate video just so it's not some long drawn out video of a bunch of uh, of stuff, you know, I can make them two different things. So if you want to learn the stretches, you can learn the stretches. If you want to learn the massage sticks and the rolls, you can watch that one instead. But yeah, just rolling my legs out, not my upper body or anything, just so I could show you what I do after a run. Um, helps out, feels really good, especially on the tibialis interior. Now that is like crucial for me. For some reason that gets like really tight when I start running a lot. Um, so that can really help ease that pain. And I find it absolutely necessary to massage that almost once a week, at least once a week, or roll it out with the foam roller. That really helps keep my legs loose and uh, helps me do my toe offs and everything when I'm running at a quicker pace. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it helps you out. As always, take it easy. Stay natty. Team Natty out.